can you hear that? I broke the audio somehow by pausing it in the middle of the boss theme anyway. Yeah, it was right before the big old fanfare, so I didn't want to switch over. So anyway, we're just fighting the most boring boss ever. I guess it's not the most boring boss ever. I guess that title goes to the... What's it called? The which you fight several times before, or you encounter several times before you can actually hurt it. The Water Wraith, yes. Although it's not really boring once you actually get to fight it. Oop, it's starting to flake apart. Yeah, the problem with this guy is he doesn't react as fast and he's too busy raging to not die a lot. Or not basically let you stick all your purples on him if you're trying to... Oh, he heals. Yeah, a bunch of enemies heal. I guess that makes it hard if you're doing it really slow and taking advantage of the... Or not taking advantage of the fact you can basically constantly be attacking him. And he dropped the severed head of Rob. No one knew what that was before Brawl. Except I think I knew because it was an Awario wear, but... Come to think of it, when are they going to make the Rob minigame come out for the DSi? That would be pretty fun. It still takes too long. Carry. But anyway, this is the mascot of um, the Nintendo sandwich shop, which is why he was so obscure before his appearance in Super Mario Land DS and Mario Brawl. Uh, and that is the last treasure in this, what is probably one of the hardest caves. I mean, all the ones here are some of the hardest caves, but... My remembered old buddy is a fitting reward for the beating of the boss endurance type cave. Yeah, I didn't have too much Pikmin Massacre. I mean, with two Queen Candy Pop Buds and Baldman, that's what, uh, like 50 died. Really kind of estimating there. Well, estimating involves thinking about it. I'm just sort of. Yeah, each Queen adds 8 to the total. So that's 16 more, plus, um, um, the 10 Baldman, so uh, that's 26 more than I actually have, so, yeah, I'm actually at, I lost, like, 50-something, yeah, 51, I could've just done that. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad, considering it's basically the hardest the hardest cave in the game. Uh, I don't think there's going to be much else to fill up this part. I will probably, um, I don't know what I'll probably do. I'll probably skip a bunch of days now. Yes, that's, well, I'll look at this because I never looked at it yet. Mega Tweeter, pluck a phone, solar system, Metal Suit Z, Scorch Guard, Anti-Electrifier, and all those have the same little mesh. Rush Boots, Mega Man reference. Rocket Fist, Mega Man reference. Treasure Gauge, I don't know how to say gauge. And yeah, those last three aren't really very useful treasures. They just give you... And I don't think that globe half actually had the bottom half of the globe, so that robot must secretly know about globe, globes and is flying to upset Olimars and Louis and Captains and stuff, but anyway, I will, I don't know, because I only have four minutes in this, uh, feel free to skip towards the end, um, this dumb old lady will just spam us every single night, but I'm going to skip to day 31, where those bugs start appearing, I believe, or... No, no, that is not fun things to watch. I will do that on my own time. Okay. Sorry for scaring you all. Anyway, um... Yeah, smell you later, and we will get Cavern of Chaos, and then Dream Den, and that will be the end, except for the Let's Play the Piclopedia and Treasures list. So, stay tuned for that, and once more, smell you later.